Hi gremlins. I am currently dressed as like a lady Krampus. Uh, it's a hodgepodge of like actual Krampus and then these Victorian like holiday cards that got made where they did like a Krampus woman who was like dressed in sort of just like a fine black dress and like had her tongue hanging out and had little tiny horns like little ones and she was putting men in a basket um so I did this whole outfit um I'm wearing fishnets but you can't see them um and I thought while I was in this like themed outfit I would talk about queer chaos for the holidays. So this is gonna be short. I only have three things that I want to talk about. Two are books. One is a movie. Um, so I thought I would start, because I've done a lot of movie stuff already. I'm gonna start with the books. They will not take long. Um, my biggest recommendation before you end this year is The Writing Retreat. That book is wild. Okay, so the premise of the book is that Alex um, is accepted with the help of a friend to the writing retreat of her like literary idol Rosa Villa. So she gets into this retreat and it turns out that you have to stay in the super secluded cabin that has a history and the history behind this cabin is that we used for spiritualist purposes. There was a woman who admittedly her name I don't remember and I don't have the book um, but there is a woman who is um, she was like a waitress um, and she caught the eye of this very very wealthy man he married her and then he was gone all the time so she got into spiritualist practices because um and we don't really know officially so what's happening is we know that that's sort of the vague history there's a demon called Lamia that she was talking to um who tried to get her to like bring her forth through art um now what we get throughout the book is Alex winds up writing a fictionalized version of what she thinks happened during the attempt to bring Lamia forth. So there is a demon. There is, oh, there's so much wild stuff. And I don't want to spoil it because the book is just so, so chaotically wild. Um, I will say that there is a mystery that occurs. Um, Alex learns that her former best friend, Ren, who she has had um, intimate relations with, um, is also there and they have not talked. Um, and so that's very odd to her that they're both there. And on top of that, um, she begins learning stuff about Rosa that she didn't know. So secrets are being unearthed and also at some point uh, drugs are taken and there's a wild trip scene. Um, there is a surprising amount of queer sex in this, which I was not anticipating in any way. Like it just looks like a standard thriller for the winter. It's very snowy. Perfect for winter. It's exceptional for winter. I just was like so obsessed with it. I read it so fast. It was amazing it's super quick i think you can pick it up most places i would just highly recommend it it has like the perfect snowed in horror -y thriller vibes and also there's a demon and i feel like she and i would get along in this outfit um so that was very good the other book only has like a slight mention of winter but i'm including it because it did a it did happen um so chlorine is a debut novel by jade jade song i believe i don't have that book either i had to return it to the library um and it is about ren who believes that she is a mermaid just she knows she's a mermaid she wants to be a mermaid she just knows intrinsically she is a mermaid she will become a mermaid we are hearing the story after the fact so ren is telling us what occurred in her transformation to be a mermaid um but what is interesting is while she sometimes has a boyfriend her friend carol sometimes has a boyfriend ren loves carol and carol loves ren but the two of them are just like never together really um they do have some intimate moments very intimate moments um together that sort of solidify their relationship and friendship but they just sort of never take the next steps i know this bell is jingling i'm sorry just pretend there's a cat running around i could be a giant cat you don't know um but she ren is fixated on becoming a mermaid who she truly is she is a dedicated swimmer she has done all of this work to be just an exceptional swimmer and as the story progresses we get closer and closer to that transformation and i will say there is a slight amount of body horror um in this so i didn't think it was that bad i thought it was pretty minor but like it was just so interesting to read ren's point of view is so interesting and the reason i included it is we're in pittsburgh in winter and at a certain point it's so snowy she falls and hits her head and that in part kicks off sort of a trans a transitional period in the book where she is like struggling with her own body 
because it is kind of betraying her because she has a concussion um from the snow from the fall um so that is very key to the story so i thought i would include it it again is not set entirely in winter but it was just so good that i couldn't not include it and that winter thing gave me an excuse too so the final thing i'm going to recommend for like horror -y, queer chaos is really what this is um is the movie it's a wonderful knife oh actually i have a fourth one but it doesn't really count for this theme but i'm gonna include it anyway so um it's a wonderful knife um focuses on winnie who wishes she had never been born a la george bailey um now this happens in her town angel falls after a year after she has killed the angel uh, he's called the angel but he's a serial killer that started killing on christmas eve the year before she was able to save her brother this is key i'm pointing this out it's a key point in the plot um and she the next year feels like no one really cares that any of this happened like she's just exhausted that no one is acknowledging that she killed someone um i mean she killed a bad guy she did she saved people by killing this bad guy so when she wishes she hadn't been born no one killed the angel killer so she is suddenly in a year after those original killings still but she has never existed so we are following winnie as she's contending with the fact that she wished herself out of existence the angel is still killing no one knows who she is and then she meets bernie who she had met previously um in other christmases so in we've seen two christmases she has seen bernie at both of these christmases and she sees bernie again and bernie is an outcast um people don't really talk to her but she keeps going to these holiday parties which my wife was like i was bullied in about the same way that bernie was and i would just not go to holiday parties but to each their own i suppose um she just kind of was like you wouldn't go like that's just inviting more bullying on you but again uh bernie made her decisions she had no one to spend time with at christmas maybe that's why she went i don't know but winnie uh finds bernie and then bernie winds up helping her to try and break the wish um i'm gonna call it because it was a wish on the aurora borealis that has now kept winnie from existing um so we go through this whole thing they have a very cute like romance that is blossoming amongst the death um and it's just a wild time um jason long plays a jerk which he has done exceptionally all year um in a number of films and tv shows um he's playing the the big bad kind of uh you'll see when you watch the movie um and then joel McHale is winnie's father which surprised me and Catherine isabel exceptional she is so good and she's the gay aunt and she's married and it's beautiful and i loved her she was so much fun um it's a very fun movie um it's not super long it's on shutter um and i would definitely recommend it because it's just like cute queer like saving the world together while it's also christmas and horrible things are happening so those are the like horror ish um queer things that i was going to mention the bonus movie i'm going to mention is the sacrifice game which um is also on shutter it came up after i watched um it's a wonderful knife um and it was wild it's set in like the 70s and it's just there are sacrificial killings going on to raise a demon uh and all of it just goes so bizarre there are two girls and their teacher and that teacher's boyfriend who are staying at this like i'm gonna say like she she uh boarding school for girls and they're not going home for christmas one of these girls is very upset about this fact um she was supposed to go home and she's been told she is not um the other one has stayed there basically every christmas she doesn't really go home so the teacher is trying to make the most of it um and then a group of people who have basically been doing marilyn manson-esque killings uh appear and are like we need to sacrifice you to raise this demon and then things just go wild there's chaos there's misunderstandings there's a raised demon who is not who you think it is oh it was so good i really really enjoyed it i would highly recommend again it's not really queer um it's just like two female protagonists interacting with each other um you would read into that if you want but technically nothing occurs between the two of them so i can't really say that but it was a good movie this is super short i just thought i would post something fun and short because the holidays are fast approaching so i thought i would just do like a quick queer chaos for the holidays video while i was dressed like lady krampus and really feeling very cool why aren't horns a normal fashion statement i feel like i'm really i really look good in these can we make horns a thing should i just wear horns all the time and act like it's totally normal like yes these are my horns i wear them all the time um anyway i'm gonna go um i hope you enjoyed these recommendations if you have more wintry chaotic horror can have queer i would love it if it had queer stuff in it but if it doesn't i would still love your like creepy horror wintry 
suggestions. I have one very silly Christmas book coming from my library that I can't wait to read. Um, and I'm going to read The Shining, but not until January, and I have a reason for that. Um, but yes, so I have one very silly Christmas book coming that I might talk about in a video because it's just so weird sounding. Um, but I'm gonna go. Um, I hope you have a great holiday season. I may post something after Christmas, before New Year's, we'll see. Um, so if you liked this video, if you want to see my other videos, please subscribe, check them out. Um, if you like this video, please give it a like. Also give it a like if you like this outfit. I'm very into this outfit. I feel like I could wear this all the time and just be very cool. Um, but yes, so happy holidays, gremlins. I'll see you soon.